Stirring the coffee with chopsticks, using the vortex method, the only true way to optimize the taste of your coffee at the molecular level. Welcome to the Daybreak Show. I am the Sultan. We'll get started, but first, coffee. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Ethiopian. Heavy cream. Touch of brown sugar. Perfect. Mmm. This is the kind of coffee that I would make somebody if they were staying with me. This is the kind of coffee that I would make if I wanted to impress somebody sitting at my dining room table. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to drink the whole thing here and forget the daybreak show. <laughs> my lord, this is so good. Wow. Wow. But we must get started. God of War pheromone infused beard oil is now available. Today is the first day. Right here. Use the promo code SALTON for a 20% discount. The biggest discount you're going to get anywhere on the web. I had it on yesterday. And someone said to me, someone who knows that I use these products said to me, a very beautiful female said to me, you're wearing that stuff again, aren't you? And I said, what are you talking about? You're, that's soap. And I said, well, actually, not the soap. It's the new beard oil. She goes, oh, my God. She goes, we're in trouble now. I said, what do you mean? She says, you're already irresistible as it is, but I just knew there was something about you today. Right here. Say what you want. Now, to me, I believe that a man needs everything that he can get. You need game. You need intellect. You need to have a good body. You need to be a friendly person. You need to be a gentleman. And you need to smell good. Or you need to have the things that attract people. You know, in, in the 1800s, they used to say, true story, you can read about this. They would say to a guy, take your handkerchief, put it under your arm, and just let it stay there for an hour. And then when you see her, slip this in her purse when she's not looking, put it in her pocket. And what happens is the pheromones that would be released through your sweat glands would be on the handkerchief and she would think about you. Now this, I don't know if this is urban legend, but it is literally from writings in the 1800s, in the Victorian era, of how a man could get a woman thinking about him when he's not around. That's exactly what this is. Very interesting, right? A meaningful liturgical church service versus a rambling preacher who is always hustling to get people to come forward for a decision. Let me say that again. A meaningful liturgical church service versus a rambling preacher who's always hustling for 45 minutes to an hour to get people to come forward to make a decision. The cool thing is that God already made the decision. He already made it. When did he make it? Before the foundation of the earth. And when your heart realizes that, then it can happen in a car, at work, while in the shower. No need to get people to do the come forward hustle. It's a process, not a Kodak moment. 
Although things can happen spontaneously, God has been at work in people's hearts long before they even recognize it. God is at work in people's hearts long before they even recognize it. Hence, I have been known to say, God gives us life so we can choose life. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. And in other news, the Pope says there is no hell. Back to you, Lucifer. Sales training is also great life training. Phrases such as, some will, some won't, so what? SW3. Some will, some won't, so what? They can serve you well if you practice them. Everywhere in life, think about it. Some will, some won't, so what? Presbyterians be like, Please stand and turn to page 378 in your hymnals and sing all 17 verses of Spirit of God Descend Upon My Heart. Does anyone else say you can't touch this when Super Freak is playing? AI will be the Antichrist. You will worship Mother algorithm. Don't doubt me on this. I took a poll. I said, who would you like me to interview? 25% said Donald Fagan. 46% said Michael McDonald. 29% said Boz Skaggs. The Guess Who rock band, who are Canadian, insist that the song American Woman had nothing to do with American pride. Burton Cummings said, What was on my mind was that girls in the States seem to get older quicker than our girls, which was dangerous. So when I said American Woman, stay away from me, I really meant... Canadian woman, I prefer you. So next time you hear the song American Woman, you see the background. How's your life been going on? I've got a wife now. Years we've been going strong. There's just something that I've got to say. Sometimes when we make love, I still can see your face. David Pack from the band Ambrosia. 1978. I did a video last summer, I'll put a link for it, called What Makes a Man Handsome? And I remember asking a woman what she thinks makes a man handsome. And it's not all the things that you as men might think, and I know female watchers, you might agree with this. It's not classic handsome, although we can't deny the power of the look of classic handsome, like George Clooney and John Hamm, very handsome gentlemen, obviously handsome. But there are certain things that can override that. You can look like John Hamm, you can look like George Clooney and be a complete a-hole and still end up very alone, but always have a bunch of one and two night stands. What makes a man handsome? I'm, I'm not talking about, let's not talk about what to do to keep a woman. Let's talk about what to do to get a woman. And one of the things that I have always said is just be a complete package. Have an intellectual side to you. Have do the best with what you have, men. Clean, well-groomed. You might not, have, might not have classic handsome features, but do the best with what you have. If you have facial hair, don't think you need to have a full beard the way that I did in order to be, have a certain, have a certain look. 
even scruffy beards. Like, for instance, I like mentioning people like Bob Seger, one of my favorite rock and rollers from the 70s. Good-looking man in his day, but did not have a full beard. He had a pretty scraggly beard. But it was acceptable. It was part of his image. When I look at people like Kid Rock, real scraggly beard. When I look at um, some rappers, scraggly beards, but overall they have a good look. Overall they're handsome. When you add up all these different things they that amount to handsomeness, you can't just say, well, I got a scraggly beard. I'm not handsome. Or I don't have a high IQ. I'm not that attractive. Or I'm not tall. That's a, that's a, a big one. I'm not tall. Did you ever meet people, you ever ha were you ever a fan of somebody, and then when you met them in real life, the first thing that went through your mind was, I thought you were taller. That's because they were confident, and their confidence makes them appear taller. And it didn't matter if they were shorter. So for the short guys, don't fret about your height, please. Please don't. But what makes a man handsome? And we'll talk about what makes a woman beautiful at a, at a later time. But one of the things that makes a man handsome, I'll just list a couple of things that I know that I have control over. Having the best haircut. Do not get a one-size-fits-all haircut. Do not. Don't go into your all-female salon. Nothing against all-female male salons, but don't do that. The reality is you need to go to a male barber who is experienced, who knows how to taper the back of your head, the nape of your neck, not put a line in the back. The classic handsome look is a tapered nape of the neck, shorter on the sides, longer on top. Scissor cut, not clipper cut. You can take the clippers up only so high before the hair starts getting porcupiney starts sticking out and then after two weeks you end up with this mushroom head look. A classic scissor cut is going to be a good thing for you that relies on as little product as possible. Another thing is clear skin. I always say hair, skin, and smile. Make sure your skin is clear and glowing and that gets done by exfoliating not by obsessively washing every day. If you wash with soap every single day, I would rather have you rinse your face or do oil cleansing rather than wash your face with soap every single day. You're drying your skin out. Your skin creates all these beautiful conditioners called your oils that keep your skin young looking and very supple. And we want that nice glow. If you keep drying your skin out, you're going to look older than you are. So hair, skin, and smile. You might not have the straightest teeth in the world, but you can have white teeth. The whiter your teeth, the more you smile, the more handsome, the more attractive you're going to be. Keep in mind you don't have to have the straightest teeth in the world. I don't have the straightest teeth in the world, but I get complimented on my smile quite often, but I make sure my teeth are always clean, flossed, and as white as I can possibly get them. That's super important. Now when I was talking to a woman in the video called What Makes a Man Handsome, she told me about a man's hands. How well groomed are they? Now some guys will say, I. I swing a sledgehammer, I'm a, I'm a mechanic, I'm this and that, and I like calloused, you know, women love my calloused hands. Okay, I, I get that. I get that for the guys that work the kind of jobs where, where their hands are being used. I get that. But you can even take those hands and make them even better by grooming your nails, keeping your hands clean, moisturizing. That does, not mean ha that does not mean feminizing your hands. So keep that in mind. The other thing would be, a woman said to me, was that a man's shoes, women will size you up. Like People will size you up in three to six seconds in general, men or women. 
women will also go right down and they, you know, if you give them a reason to stop, if you give their eye a reason to stop, you better, everything else better be in order. You could be dressed nice, but have a gnarly scuffed pair of shoes, not a good thing. I don't care how nice your shirt is. I don't care how well built you are, how nice of a haircut. Everything, everything just stops at a scuffed, shitty pair of shoes. Always make your sho always make sure your shoes are clean, polished, or put together. If you have scuffs, use shoe polish to blend that scuff in with the rest of the shoe. Super important. When you, and I'm not, now the MGTOW guys are gonna be bitching and moaning and say, yeah, you're doing everything for a woman. No, I'm not, asshole. No, I'm not. Do it for you. You pursue excellence for you. You're just too fucking lazy because you think that anything you do for yourself, you might, might by accident do for a woman. Do it for you. Pursue excellence, and excellence will pursue you. When you are looking good, then good-looking people will approach you and will find you. Pursue excellence, and excellence will pursue you. Don't give anyone, including a woman, this is for the men now, a reason for their eye to stop on you. In other words, everything was cool until you opened your mouth. Everything was cool until they smelled your armpits. Everything was cool until they saw your shoes. Don't give anyone a reason to stop when they look at you. Stop and pause. Remember, you have three to six seconds to make a good impression. I'm in the business when I go to the salon today, of helping people look great. I don't want anything to stop. For instance, I started doing uh, nose, uh, nose waxing, ear waxing, using hard wax on the, the bridge of the nose, across the forehead, paraffin hand dips, th just little things. For instance, you could take your Chevy Impala to go get detailed somewhere. They're going to wash it, they're going to wax it, they're going to vacuum it. But when you have a Ferrari, you want them to detail it with Q-tips in the vents, every little corner, toothbrushes. You want their tools not to be big sponges and towels. You detail means the details. I wasn't a detail person. My ex-wife used to say to me if I overlooked details, she would go, details, details. That might be the one good thing that I got out of my marriage. Details, details. Think about this. Are you an Impala or are you a Ferrari? I want to give you the Ferrari treatment. I don't want someone to say, oh, he drove a nice car, but shit, look at the hair in his ears. Look at the hair sticking out of his nose. I can't tell you how many guys sit in my chair and they look like they have antennas sticking out. And when I wax the ears and the nose, it looks like a friggin' dandelion. Dudes, those are the details. Take care of the details. Don't give my eye a reason to stop from head to toe. That's how a man is handsome image wise. We'll talk about words and the way a man thinks on another occasion. Until then, finish your coffee and I'll see you Monday on the Daybreak Show. Don't forget God of War beard oil. This will be going on the goat today. Instant results. I've been using this for two weeks. Two weeks now before it was released. Instant results. See you Monday.